Now we're going to turn to a new series here on GMA, which takes a closer look at the missing person stories, which have not gotten the attention they need that could help solve the case. Michael, you have one of them. Yeah, I sure do, George. This is the story of Mercedes Clement, a 26-year-old woman of, of Hispanic and Asian descent who went missing over a year ago. I spent time with her family and the police who are both trying to find her. You're looking at the last known images of 26-year-old Mercedes Clement, the single mother of a six-year-old boy. Seen here walking across the parking lot of the Coco Apartments in Dallas, Texas, accompanied by a man going through the courtyard and walking into his apartment. The surveillance camera somehow stops recording from 1.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. Mercedes is never seen or heard from again. Missing for a little over a year, her parents Alicia and Emiliano Gazzotti have been looking for her ever since. Spending their free time patrolling the streets following any lead. There's a lot of trafficking that goes on in that area. Young girls, real young girls. Police telling us a spotlight on her case could bring in tips they desperately need to solve it. Mercedes, she was just a gift. She was always saving her money for the homeless people. Always just had this huge heart of gold, always. Take me back to the day that she disappeared. That night, um, she called a couple of her friends. She told one girl in particular she was scared. She needed to ride to her car. Mercedes. Was she, I'm sorry, she was afraid to say something? She said, hello, and she said, Mercedes, what are you doing? And she said, I've, you know, I've got to go. And the phone disconnected, and that was it. The next day, Alicia received a letter that Mercedes' car had been towed. Her purse was in her car. Her wallet was in her car. Her car key was on the front seat. Her bra was on the passenger seat. And um, we just knew something was wrong. Detective Patty Ballou, a homicide detective with the Dallas PD, is assigned to the case. So much time has passed by and no one have heard from her. So I, I believe that something has happened to her. One question, that seven hour alleged glitch in the surveillance tape. We went to the video company and I asked, is that something that, like I say, happened often? They said not so much. So it was a little odd that it happens. Mercedes's purse found in her car, also raising the detective's suspicions. It's the same purse you see her walking inside the apartment complex with. So either she brought it back or the people who took her put it in the car and their intentions were to come back to the car, but the car was told before they were able to do that. Detective says that they have multiple people of interest, including some from her past, when Mercedes went through a period of drug use. At the top of their list is a man Mercedes was last seen with on camera that night, 36-year-old Tanner Lawson. And we've tried to question him and he's basically refused to uh, speak with us. Alicia took it upon herself, cold calling him, recording their conversation. I don't know if you need to drive around and jog your memory, but you need to sit down. You need to sit down. Because to me, there was nothing significant about that day. Lawson is currently in Dallas County Jail on unrelated charges. He did not respond to a request for comment. Now, the Gazzotti's fear the trail is starting to run cold. I think that the media, police, missing persons units, there's always a stigma around certain people. If they look a little different or if they're not the, the, the boy or girl next door, right? They don't get treated with that same urgency or that same consideration. Alicia, Emiliano, and Mercedes's son all have the same wish. Okay. Can you say a prayer before we eat? I wish my mom was here. What do you want people to know about your daughter? My daughter's life mattered. Um, she mattered to us. If Mercedes is listening right now, what would you like to say to her? I am not giving up. I love you so much. I love you so much. I'm just going to keep being strong. And if she's feeling weak, just know that I'm being strong. I'm happy we can bring light to, mm -hmm. to cases like there are so many out there. And again, there is still hope for this case. Police are really looking for the public for tips and, and also leads. So if you have any information about Mercedes Clement, please call the North Dallas Crime Commission at 1-877-373-TIPS, 877-373-TIPS. We will have much more on this story tonight 
on Nightline, rather. Your family doing all that they can to Everything. along with the police. And this is going to be an ongoing series that you're going to be doing? Yes, we're going to keep going and hope, hopefully mm. we can help find some missing Make persons and Make yeah, give their family yeah. some, some help and closure. The public can help. The public can help. Absolutely. Thank you, Michael, for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.